Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salala Oman. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use calculated data type and queries in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use calculated data type and queries in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? Simple. Go to Start, go to All Programs, and go to Microsoft Office where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as the first option. Just like Microsoft Access 2010 icon in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. This entire view is called as Backstage View. By default, new and blank database options are selected. All the work you did will be stored in a default location. I wish to change the location. How to change the location? It's very simple. So here you can able to see an icon. It's an called as browse icon. Just like browse icon in order to generate file new database dialog box where you can able to navigate to different places in the system. So now I'm going to navigate to desktop where I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say example MS access. Click open in order to open the folder and provide the database name let us say student marks and click OK. Now we have changed the location. Now how to create a database? So here you can able to see an icon create. You just click create in order to create a database. Whenever you click the icon create, it will generate the database and by default it will generate a table called as table one. Either you can navigate to create tab and you can use the table in order to create a new table or else you can reuse this table one how by going back to or moving to design view okay so I'm going to reuse the table one just click the table one right click shift to design view Whenever you shift to design view for first time, it will ask for the table name. Let us say student marks and click OK. Now by default, whenever you open a table by default, the first row will be assigned with primary key and the field name will be ID and data type will be auto number. So we are going to change it. So first it's going to be student ID it's going to be number let us say student ID then student name it's going to be text let us say student name now let us say marks let us say English it's going to be number mark is going to be number let us say English marks so now math mark so it's going to be number let us say math marks and now it it's going to be number so it's an it marks okay now i want to find the total how to find the total so i want to find the total for english plus max plus it how so just click on data type where you can able to see calculator. You can use the calculator and now let us say English plus IT or math plus 
IT and click OK and anyway so the total is going to be English plus math plus IT now we should find the average how to find the average the same click and go to calculator and now averages so total divided by how many subjects math english it3 so divided by 3 click okay so let us say average equal to total divided by 3 now save the information and close it now select the table and open it so now enter the student ID uh, enter the name let us say enter the English marks max marks and IT when you use tab automatically total and average will be calculated there is no need you want to enter the total and average once again to enter the name and values for IT and see and whenever you use tab automatically the total and average will be generated so free use tab to generate the total and average automatically now save the information now we have created the table now we need to create the queries so how to create queries okay just select the table go to create where you can able to find the query wizard okay so go to create tab and you can view the query wizard you just click query wizard in order to generate the query and we are going to create or generate a simple query so use the option simple query wizard and click okay now it will migrate or move to the next as a simple query wizard where you can able to find tables so table name and available fields either you can shift the selected fields okay like this select the field and you can move it select the field or not or if you wish to move all the fields at a single stretch you can use this just click in order to move everything okay now I don't need this I want to remove this you just select the field you wish to remove and remove it just select the field you wish to remove it or if you or if you wish to remove all the fields use this option in order to remove all the fields okay now I need to add all the fields okay I wish to add all the fields and click next and next so provide the name let us say q1 it's going to be query1 and finish now you generated the query1 select the query1 and go to home tab and switch to design view now this is a design view where uh, these are the fields so show if you uncheck this this field will not be sh shown in the output so now here is the sort either you can use the sort to sort ascending order or descending order for everything you can use the same for student id name or english marks maxi you can sort it either in ascending or descending okay so now first query is I want to find out the student ID in which I should enter the value okay so here starts with square brackets let us say enter enter the ID okay close the square bracket okay and just run this when you run this automatically it will ask for the student ID let us say one and click OK see now you can able to see only the output the ID is equal to one okay how once again switch to design view so now in case of criteria you just type enter the ID within the square bracket and run it whenever you run it it will ask for ID provide the ID only the particular record which matches this criteria will be displayed so this is a query one now click 
and save. Now I want to create one more query. Select the table, go to create, go to query wizard, use the simple query wizard, click OK and choose all the fields. Okay, all the fields and next, next and now it's going to be query 2 and finish. So click query 2, right click, go to design view and now I need the English marks which are greater than 60. Okay, so I need English marks which are greater than 60. So run it. Now you can able to see the values which are greater than 60. So, so now select and go to design view. Let us see now uh, greater than 20 and run it. Now you can able to see all the values. Okay. So once again select the query, go to design view and so I need greater than the same view I need value greater than 60 okay save it and run this so you can use this run option in order to run the query just run it now we can able to see only one record has been displayed which matches the criteria so now select the table I'm going to create one more query Go to create, go to query query wizard and select the option simple query wizard, click OK. And now this time I'm going to use only student ID, name and total. And click next and finish. Now I'm going to rename this okay because it has been open okay so just go to design view now I want to display all the records with total greater than 250 okay I need to display I, I want to display all the records which are greater than 250 in case of total if total is greater than 250 I want to display all the records so in case of criteria provide greater than 250 save this and run this okay only one value which is greater than 274 that is 250 so you can able to see the display or result which matches this criteria so now again select the table I'm going to create one more for a wizard click OK and I'm going to use all the fields and next next and let us say query 3 q3 q3 and finish now uh, select the query and switch to design view now I need to sort based on average Okay, either in descending order and save this and run this now you can able to see it has been sorted now select the query wizard sorry select the query right click go to design view now so criteria I need the average which should be greater than 80 save this and run it so where you can able to see the two records which satisfy the criteria. So this is how you should use queries. I think you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank